Hello everybody, it is me, Ice Storm here, and so I noticed that um, my HP Stream 11 um, factory problem um, reset um, had many views on it. It's at 24k right now, so um, I noticed that people might still have problems with that, so I'm going to do a tutorial on how to actually do it. So this is what you're going to need. Your HP Stream 11, this is mine right here, it's the 11 inch model, 2015 model actually, and you're going to need a flash drive. Um, I would recommend a 8 gigabyte flash drive. That's like the um, minimum storage you need to download Windows 10. So I have my flash drive right here. It is a SanDisk, um, I believe it's a 64 gigabyte model. Yeah, the 64 gigabyte model. So yeah, I'm going to use that. Um, so I don't have Windows 10 loaded on the USB flash drive, but I should do that. But um, just for the sake of time and if people are having problems trying to reinstall Windows 10, then I'll then uh, just you know just comment down below and I'll tell you what you need to do. So this is what we're gonna do. So first things first, we're gonna just open the laptop. <laughs> okay, so it's uh so we have it on. So to get to the thing, we have to press the power button, and then I believe the the uh, I think it's either um, F eleven or F ten. There we go. We got it. So as you guys can see. <sighs> Sorry, yeah, flew fly on my face. Uh, so we're just gonna, so as you guys can see right here, we're just gonna say nope. And we got the main security system configuration and the exit button. So we can't obviously do anything with that. So what we're gonna do is go to the, um, let's see, we're gonna go to system configuration. Then you're gonna go to um, boot options, press enter. Okay, so um, to do this, I'm pretty sure that you're gonna need a um, able legacy support and uh, just you know do what I have right here and as you guys can see my uh, thing uh, this won't matter because what you're gonna need to do is um, just able legacy support I'm pretty sure and you will get all these options just copy the options I have on screen once you go to the um, bios then after we're gonna go we're just gonna go back up and we're just gonna press the back escape button I'm gonna go to exit, exit and save changes. Yes, then you guys are gonna press the escape button. So once we got that going, so we're gonna press the power button. And then we're gonna press the escape button. And then I'll show you with these options. So what I didn't do was plug in my flash drive. So let me just plug that in right here. As you guys can see, we're just gonna grab it. And we're just going to plug it in. Now it's plugged in. So going back to the screen right here. So we got three, uh, four options. We've got the bio setup, boot device option, system recovery, system diagnostics, um, system information. So what you're going to do, I think, is go to F9. So F9. Then you will get this. So... My flash drive isn't showing up because I did not plug it in when I turned it on. So, um, so you should get something that appears right up here that says SanDisk um, USB flash drive or something like that. So you would just, you know, scroll down, and select it, and press the enter button. And once you press the enter button, it will boot into the flash drive with your Windows 10 copy. And then you will be taken to the Windows 10 installation page. So once you get there, you do custom install. And you would you want to format everything on your drive to format everything that shows up then there just press the delete button if you can't delete it then that means that you can't delete it so just leave it and just delete everything else once you format everything then after you should go and start the installation on the hard drive of the thing so my main hard drive is the notebook hard drive of course so yeah I would select that and then click next and then click install and I'll install a fresh copy of Windows 10 now the uh, so you won't require a Windows key since the, um, the the product key is like in the motherboard. So the motherboard knows that you do have a um, install of Windows 10 legit. So you get your official one. And the thing about this is no bloatware. So all the bloatware you got before with the HP Stream 11, well you won't be getting that with this fresh install. So you have more memory in your hard drive. So yeah, guys, I hope this helps and you guys were able to figure out how to do this. Um, I knew it's a little bit hard for people that are new. For me, it took me like, I gave up like, like, uh, 
months ago, and then after it came back like a couple months later, got it working. So, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoy, and if you need any help, please comment down below and join my Discord. I did upload a video about my Discord channel, so I can, like, talk to you guys and, like, help you guys with that. So, yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys later. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. There's going to be more content uploaded soon, and also like this video if, it's, if it helped you guys. So, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.